Hello guys, my name is Satch from the Porsche Network. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at my newly acquired Porsche Cayenne. It's a 2012 Porsche Cayenne three liter turbo diesel. Um, it has 245 brake horsepower, 405 foot-pounds of torque, and uh, it's a really, really nice motor. And I'm gonna show you uh, a bit of a walk around and basically what you'll expect if you're buying a, um, a used Mercedes, uh, Mercedes, a used Porsche Cayenne. This one has 104,000 miles on the clock. So as you would expect, it's not gonna be perfect. And I don't expect a perfect car for a car of that age and the money that I paid for the car. Before we do that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss anything. You can also follow the Porsche network on Instagram and on Facebook. It's black on black, which means it's black exterior, black interior. It has these 21 inch turbo two alloys. They are on Michelin tires, 295, 21s. It has the sport design kit. I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is what you'll find on the GTS. And I'm gonna do a quick walk around now and show you what the sport design kit entails. So starting at the front here, we have these kind of um, corner splitters. They're part of the sport design package. You won't get them on a standard car. As we look at the arches, we have protruding arches. So arches which just stick out just that little bit more and give it that sportier look. On standard models, you'll find the arches are completely flush. There are two types of arches. Uh, as, you, as we mentioned, the Turbo 2 alloys, which look really, really good. Uh, then we come along, we've got the side skirts, which give that car a lower stance and a lower appearance. You can also see on this car, this is an option as well. This trim around the windows, this is all done in black. Um, on a lot of cars, that is in chrome and in silver. Oh, when you get the black uh, option, it's really, really good. And again, it just gives that little sportier look. Um, so again, we're coming around to the back of the car. We've got those arches again. Those are the sport design arches. And again, on each corner here, we've got these kind of rear corner uh, sort of diffusers, if you like. What else have we got? Well, that's the car in essence. Oh yes, the spoiler. The spoiler is a GTS spoiler as you can tell because it's got the gaps in between here. All of the Cayennes do have spoilers, but the spoiler on the, uh, the Sport Design and the GTS and probably the Turbo as well is a little bit more aggressive. Um, got the number plate off the car at the moment. Don't worry about that, I'm fixing that. But let's have a look at the boot lid. It's got a reversing camera right there. It's got a one touch open system. The boot is ample size. The rear seats fold down and we've got a one touch closing mechanism as you would expect on a Porsche Cayenne. So these uh, these tips here, I'm not entirely sure what they're from. I believe they're from maybe a Turbo S Cayenne, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure on that. So what we have in essence is a, a really sporty looking SUV. Um, actually, it, right now, you'll see it's in the lowered position with regards to the air suspension. There are five air suspension settings, but in general, you've got low, normal, and high. So this is what it looks like in the low setting. This is what it looks like in the normal setting. And this is what it looks like in the high setting. So with regards to the bodywork on the car, there are a few flat areas. I don't know if you've already noticed, but there's an area here and there's an area along here you may not be able to pick that up on camera, but that is characteristic of the car, which has seen a little bit of age. Other than that though, there are there is the odd scratch, the odd nick. Um, with regards to stone chips on the front, well, it's really high, so you know we're not getting a lot here. It's a bit of a scratch right there. Um, but other than those things there, there's really not a lot going on. I'm really impressed with the, uh, the bodywork on this car, with it being, well, 2020 now, it's a 12, it's a, 2012 car so it's a eight year old car and I would say it's held up really really well. Let's have a look on the inside of the car. So straight away when we come inside here we're greeted with these lovely eight way leather seats. So comfortable. This is the comfort package. Uh, it's heated seats not um, well it's heated seats we've got the perforations here it's not the uh, the ventilated seats. Multifunction steering wheel there which is really really comfortable and really nice to get a hold of. Uh, we've got leather on the door cards with all of the controls right there. We've got PCM 3.41 right here. It's a 2012 version. Um, Tiptronic, eight speed Tiptronic, climate controls, hazard, air conditioning controls right here. Uh, these are your um, terrain. So you've got four different terrain settings. This is your suspension. We've got five different suspension settings. 
Um, these are the options here. We've got uh, Sport, this is the uh, Stop Start, this is the Traction Control, and this is the Porsche Hill Descent. A few issues with the car on the inside, this glove box creaks and rattles when driving along. This center console creaks and rattles while driving along. These, this here is a space for cup holders. The cup holders were crackling and rattling. Uh, I've had to completely take that out and order a new one. I'm waiting for that coming. A couple of buttons on here are cracking. Um, other than that though, normal wear and tear on the inside here. It's actually really good apart from those things there. Uh, not really much wear on the steering wheel, although there is a little bit. I think there's also a problem with the battery in this car because when I start the engine, Uh, how long did that take to crank? And also when the stop start is activated, which it is in most occasions, it's quite embarrassing if this actually, this car fails to start and I've got traffic waiting behind me and it's really, really slow to crank. Uh, sometimes I have to give it a couple of attempts and then it'll start up. Um, but yeah, it's quite embarrassing. So I do believe it needs a new battery. Got a child seat in there. Plenty room for three adults. So you've got rooms for a six footer if you are a six footer. That's my normal driving position. And we've also got ventilations right there for the rear and also a lock. This has a Bose system and a sound system is really, really good. So let's take this car for a drive. Before we do that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss anything. You can also follow the Porsche Network on Instagram and on Facebook. Now, as you would probably expect, driving this car is an absolute dream. It's like, it's like driving a magic car, but it really is. It glides and just sort of sm goes smoothly over those bumps and cracks and uh, cracks in the road. Whereas if I was in my 911, my Boxster or my Cayman, I'd be feeling every single inch of every one of those cracks and bumps. So it really is a smooth, comfortable drive that the whole family can just feel really relaxed in. Now I often get bad backs and I haven't once felt my back feel a little bit uncomfortable while driving this car because it's just such a, such a, beautiful place to be. As I mentioned, it has a 245 brake horsepower, three liter turbo diesel V6 engine, and it's really torquey, 405 foot-pounds of torque, which as I say, what is what you'd expect from a VW engine. The gearbox is an eight-speed Tiptronic, and to be honest with you, yeah, the PDK is great, but you don't need a PDK in a car like this unless you're gonna go and track it, which let's face it, probably nobody will. Uh, but the, the, the eight-speed Tiptronic gearbox is absolutely fine for the daily needs of driving this car. You really don't need super split-second quick changes in a Porsche Cayenne daily driver. Now, cost-wise, it costs £300 a year to tax the car. It costs me personally about £400 a year to insure the vehicle. It has a 90-litre fuel tank or diesel tank, um, which costs about £116 to fill the tank. And I'm currently getting about 30 miles per gallon, which is which is pretty big for a, a huge, you know, big bulky pig of a car. And I think I'm gonna get along really, really well with this big old pig. So that's about it for me in this Porsche Cayenne. Like I say, if you do wanna see more Porsche hints, tips, reviews, and guides, I really appreciate it if you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As I say, I post new Porsche videos every single week, and it'd be great to have you around as a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Porsche Network.